Hi, it's Adrian from At The Gates, and we're here at uh, Copenhagen. Today, we're just about to do the changeover, and uh, I wanted to show you around the kit and uh, show you some of the Roland gear that I'm using, and show you how I implement and uh, use it in my setup. Come along. Most of our set is played with a, a click track. I use uh, the Roland SPD-SX uh, for intros, outros and backing tracks and also my click tracks. So what I've done is uh, I pair these two pads. So when I strike one, both are playing simultaneously. One goes to front of house with the backing track and the second one goes to me with the click track. But the tracks are sick. For songs that have backing tracks, like one of the songs has like a keyboard kind of uh, part that's happening towards the end. If I'm uh, in sync with the click, it happens in the right place each time. <laughs> but you got, it really keeps you on your toes, but it's good. And it adds uh, like a lot more focus to the songs that don't have any click track. Like at times when you're playing, like adrenaline can make you rush or slow you down. And, yeah, so it, the play, my playing's really improved since I incorporated this in my set. I have also a uh, TM2 trigger unit, where, which I use uh, with this mic here. When I strike the bass drum, the signal goes through this little lead to here, and that goes to front of house, and all, each time I strike the bass drum, it makes the same sound consistently. Out front, the sound guy mixes the electronic sound with the acoustic sound. Sometimes with faster passages, you can't hit as hard. And uh, that's when he blends the trigger in and it adds a lot more attack to the sound. But also, because it's so dependable, we use it uh, in the monitors for the guitar players and the singer has the, the kick trigger as well in the front. I have a, a, a Roland TD30KV at home. Because of uh, prices uh, to rent rehearsal rooms and stuff in London, I, I can't have a, like a live kit set up. First, I started just having the V drums for practicing. This was back in the TD7 days. And then I've gradually upgraded. When each model's come out, I've got a new model. I use it for practicing, but also when we're writing new music, I do the demos at home on my V-drums. You can loop over and play as many times as you want and find the right part. And then after you finish the whole song, I decide, okay, which sound do I want? Either the Roland sound or like a through a sample library.